Hello everybody and welcome back to Imperator where I'm getting that itch again and that itch is to go to war. I want to attack these guys but we really really shouldn't right now and the reason why we shouldn't is because we have really bad stability and it's getting worse and will continue to get worse for the next year. So we should tick forward instead and just ignore it and uh, it's going to be painful. Ooh gaining two stability though. Ooh, gaining five stability. We're going to gain five stability, definitely. And we need a new wise one because of that. It'll be this guy. But we do have a scorned family, the Wen family. Is that the Republican family? Hang on. I'm not sure if that's the Republican or the Monarchist family. That's the Monarchist family. Okay, we're fine with that then. <laughs> no problem whatsoever. So we've got 83 gold at this time, and we would like to continue to construct up over here, right? The first thing that we should probably do is remove this forum. But we're going to need to have the... I think this is a 163 gold that we needed to have for this. Well, we could remove the forum right now. So that's fine. We need 130. Oh, we'll have that on the next month tick. Fantastic. So we'll get going on that. That'll be another court of law here, giving us additional citizen happiness. Yeah, there's a bureaucratic purge here. Two stability. Uh, again, this is a lot of tyranny, though. Do we want to have additional tyranny? Hmm. Yes, I want the stability. Okay, so that means we need a new martial researcher. We're purging off all of the Wens, and this guy's another Wen. I guess that's fine. I think we might have just put him right back in. <laughs> if, that's, if that's the case, that's fine. Honestly, the tyranny isn't a bad thing. That does boost our slave output. It does mean the threshold for civil war is reduced, but I don't think we're in a serious situation for that right now. In theory. So that's looking reasonably good. We did need to come up over here and build this court of law. So we'll get that going for now. We're, of course, going to need to ditch this tavern fairly soon as well. And this port. So that'll get us our third court of law and one academy. So the civilization level will come up some. But we're definitely lacking the building slots that a place like Panay has. Now, we could use our free province investment that we're going to get here to boost up our local city building slots. Also, note that this exists. But I have a question. Why take this? Seriously, why take this? When instead, you could get a building slot and build a library, which gives you 5% local research points over the 1% local research point. What what what's the point? <laughs> I don't I don't know. That that's kind of lame. Why would we ever do this? Libraries are just better and for the same price you can get a building slot. Well, we do get some advanced progress. That's always good. We get some pity tech there. Our tech, however, is starting to actually grow on its own a little bit, and we need to figure out what we want to work towards. And we know what we want to work towards. We want to work towards bumping up our maximum research efficiency, right? So that is absolutely what we want to go towards, and that means things like embracing philosophy, which we're not that far away from, actually. So that would mean, ooh, build roads cost minus 25% would be good, too. National tax. Make an example of him. This is a lot of tyranny. But they're already at zero loyalty. So I'm sure it's fine. I'm sure it's fine. We're going to put this guy in. Cool. So we're up to 46 stability at this point. Our stability has come up nicely. And we're going to need to get rid of this tavern. So the question is, when do we want to do that? Ooh. We're going to gain a tyranny and... Phnom loses 40 opinion of Candace, but that's fascinating. So we gain three pops and they all become slaves. Cool. So up to, we're up to 646 score. Is How related is that to our actual population? Hang on. Our population is 614, so it's not entirely related. Sure, that's fine. So up to 101 gold right now. Let's get rid of this tavern very shortly. Ooh, here's another Wen member. Do it. Make an example of him. We need a new martial researcher, and that will be Yi Wu here. Cool. So that puts us at 50 stability. That's really solid. We're in positive stability right now, but we've got some issues going on here. None of this is surprising. 
right? That's all reasonably expected. So next month's tick, we should have enough. So let's get rid of this tavern. And we're going to put in a court of law. A parlous state, huh? 60 gold for 6 stability? I'm going to take it. So we're in debt right now, but we can invoke the new constitution. We're going to gain two free province investments, and we adopt the democratic Repub republic government form. Perfect. So that's now done. We can finish this mission. Fantastic. So we have a free idea slot, and what do we want to put in here? Well, we don't actually have the ideas to put anything in, so for the moment we'll have to come back to that. We do have some titles unassigned, so we're going to need this guy here. We're going to need this guy. See and when? Okay. Well, we can put a when in here. That'll be fine. This is a C. That'll be fine. And then UG goes in here. So obviously, we've got some uh, problems going on here. We're in a deficit right now. And this guy is now ruling. Cool. We're going to go with, again, civic focus. And we'll just go with construction focus. That'll be fine for now. Now we need a new person here. And currently, we've got some disloyal characters. This is not shocking. He is near death. I'm thinking we don't need to do anything about him. He's in very poor health. I'm going to bribe him. I don't like paying the political influence here. But we need to get him and his power base out of this faction. So we're going to do that for now. And then we've got this guy. We can't really do anything with him. We can't bribe him because we don't have enough money in our personal coffers. So that is a bit problematic. Hmm. Losing popularity? Sure. I think that's okay. So the question is, how big is this right now? 41.96? Noted. And there are a lot of people who are not very happy right now. So... This guy is the primary problem. He's very unhappy, obviously. <laughs> He's also near death, and I'm hoping that he dies very, very quickly. We're going to come out of debt fairly soon. The Civil War would currently break out in 20 months. But we will come out of debt shortly. Okay. So, this guy's in very poor health. This guy died of dysentery. That's very good. So, who is now leading this? The Admiral of the First Navy here, that's this guy. He's in very poor health. He may or may not survive. Hmm. I don't really want to assassinate him necessarily. This guy, he's ailing as well. Okay, we can put in somebody here, like, for example, this guy, so that they're not a scorned family anymore. They're still going to be very upset, obviously. So... Taking a look at these characters' power bases, right? This is a senatorial influence. He's got a power base of 2. And he's got a power base of 45. So this guy, we need to get on our side. He's only at 30 loyalty right now. We can't give him free hands because he doesn't have an office. He's Admiral of the First Navy, but he does not have an office. Okay. Okay. The tyranny dropping would be helpful. No doubt about that. Also, let's take a quick look at our laws right now. So this is our current electoral model, and we're on the electoral model, electoral model, apparently. We've got a citizen militia right now. We're not able to raise any legions. We're going to want to make our way down here eventually, but we need inventions for that. As far as our legislative body goes, I think it's probably reasonably fine as is right now. We're going to need a bunch of political influence. And let's exit this deficit. Okay, so we're no longer in deficit right now. This is still saying we're in deficit, but it's not. We're, we're not in deficit. So that's okay. What do we want here? Well, stability is probably pretty good. This guy just gains loyalty, and we gain three stability for free. We'll take it. That sounds great. So... We do need to deal with this civil war, right? That'll be 18 months away. In that time, tyranny will reduce somewhat. But we need to drop our threshold quite a lot. So specifically what we need is... 
this guy. Well, he's a power base of 35. 45 and 2. So yeah, it's either of these, I think, that we need to get out of here. We can actually bribe this guy now. Done. So he is now loyal. No more problem. Perfect. So that looks good. Over here in Lemurie, I would like to make a religious endowment. So we're going to get going over here. We need to get this area a little bit more developed, right? That'll be absolutely fine. We need to get three academies and a library, ideally. We've got one building slot right now. We're going to get one more and then an additional. So we're going to not really be where we want to be, but our civilization value might get us there. 43 right now. Yeah, our civilization value should get us there. So that looks good. No major problems right now, although the support in the Senate is not phenomenal. That's understood. We don't really care all that much about the Senate support. Their agenda is to pass a law. They want to abolish assemblies. Aha. Uh -huh. That's definitely interesting. No doubt about that. But the oligarchs are currently in control by a pretty hefty margin. Yeah, they definitely want to abolish assemblies, and we could work towards that in theory. We would need to have 21 political influence, which we currently don't have, obviously. So that would be step number one. We'll see how that ends up going, but I do want to get another building slot over here. We have that free province investment, and I want to utilize that here right now. Note that it's not saying that we have a bad research ratio at this moment. 101.74% efficiency? That's fascinating. Okay, we're not capped by any means, but that's pretty decent. 2.39 research here at this point, and over here we're making 19.66 research. This is going to continue to be optimized as well. Because we've got a fair amount of additional building slots that will come in from this civilization value. So that looks good. We are, of course, going to make another religious endowment here, and let's immediately begin work on an academy. Yes, cults have indeed been sanctioned here. That looks good. So we're going to get these provincial investments done. This will be absolutely fine. We want to boost up our research here for sure. Yeah, th this is going to take a little while to get into position. I want to take a look at our pop counts here. The desired ratio of these is what? I think we have to go in here to see this. Okay, so we're going to have a, like one more citizen here. That's fine. Not too bad. And we're producing quite a lot of research out of that area. So that looks good. I want to check in on how long it'll be at this point. 560? That's not bad. Okay, this is definitely sped up. No doubt about that. Pop cap going up would not be a bad thing either. And then this would be national tax here. Yeah, that's not a bad thing. Okay. Well, we're going to have this academy finished fairly soon. And we're also, around the same time, going to finish up our provincial investment here, which will allow us to build a second academy, which we'll, of course, very much like to do. This will boost our citizen and noble output and boost up our pop promotion speed. It's the same amount of civilization level. And this gives pop conversion speed. Okay. I'm just wondering what exactly the differences are between the academy and the library. I guess the academy boosts citizen output, so it would also boost the manpower output that citizens make. Maybe. I don't see it in that tooltip, but perhaps. So let's build an additional academy here. That'll be fine. And the pop promotion speed is a useful thing, to be sure. So we'll get that academy built, and then we'll get an additional academy built. We're going to remove this port and put in an academy, which is going to be a net minus 1% to the civilization value here. But the cap is currently 45. It's going to be 46 once we get this done. So that'll be overall a positive. So that looks good. At this point, we could consider going to war. And our navy is chilling here. I guess because this guy was disloyal. 
Okay. We gained three stability, which is very solid. And I'm wondering at this point, do we want to put in an idea here? So that would be in our military ideas. What would we want to put in? Morale of armies is pretty good. Manpower recovery is pretty good too. I feel like we've been doing okay on manpower for the time being. I'm going to go with morale of armies. So we'll do that. Now we're going to get additional ideas to put in, but we need the political influence for that. So that seems fine for the moment. Yeah, this is definitely developing nicely. 2.62 at this point. That's going to continue to go up. That looks good. Now, one of these provinces is gaining in loyalty. Mon is not. Okay. Somebody died. That's fine. Hmm. We lose some approval here. That's okay. It was actually our leader who died. So we'll put in you, since you're a scorned family. That'll be fine. We need a new character focus. We'll go in here. Fantastic. And now we need a new oratory researcher as well. Actually, this guy's intelligent, so that would be reasonably fine. Cool. Do it. So, checking in down over here, I'm just wondering, when are we going to get that additional building slot? It will happen eventually. 0.18 per month. Okay. I'm just watching to see we're at 5.8 right now. 5.82. Okay. It's going to take a while. Gotcha. That's reasonably fine. Let's ditch this port. We're going to build an academy here as soon as we can. That is going to cost 128 gold, but that's fine. We're going to continue to boost our citizen output and noble output. Wonderful. And note that we're at 9 of 10, so that means we can even get a library. Beautiful. There are barbarian armies up over here, apparently. Sure. Let's raise up our levies. And while we're doing this, we're at 17 political influence right now. How much does this cost? 18. Okay. Noted. This is only one army now. Fascinating. I wonder if it can be split. Well, let's head on up over this direction for the time being. That'll be fine for right now. So that all looks good. We're going to queue up another library here once we have 64 gold. That will take some time. And because our levy is raised, we're probably going to start producing a lot less research here. But for now, it's okay. Yeah, we can see 5.86. That's going to take a number of months yet. It's going to take another seven months. Something like that. So that's fine. No problem there. I do want to go up and eliminate these barbarians. They are very annoying. And in the meantime, of course, I want to be fabricating a claim on these lads. And in fact, we should be accepting the matter of Funan. So let's consult the assembly here. This will give us a claim on Moon, Ban, and Chenla. Okay. We'll do that for now. Somebody escaped. Rude. So we need three or more cities in the province of Mon. No, this is the province of Moon. Hang on. This is presumably on the moon, orbiting Kerbin. I assume that's what's happening here. So that's in this here. We need to have at least three cities. Okay. That's intriguing. That's going to be fairly expensive. And where are you going? You're going here? Understood. We're going to go up there and see if we can eliminate them. Out of curiosity, is it possible to split these units? It looks like it is, so that is good to know. But let's just make our way on up. We want to get rid of these barbarians, and we also want to get a claim out over here. So consulting the assembly will be done eventually. We can call down an omen. Hmm. They've been amassing a large invasionary force and have been probing our borders, huh? Interesting. So they want to fight us, and we want to fight them. So I guess this is happening. <laughs> it should be absolutely fine. I don't think that we'll have any particular problem with that. We might have a small tech issue, but should be okay. Especially if we call down our deity of war, which we're going to do. Cool. So that looks good. 
we're going to continue to chase down these barbarians for the time being. They're very rude. But we'll get them captured soon enough. And then the question is, what's our plan for attacking these guys? Well, I think we take this first, and then from there we see where their forts are. That's basically the whole plan. So we'll eliminate these barbarians, and then we'll head south. Cool. We did not stack wipe them, but we didn't need to. We're just going to walk back over this way. This should be a stack wipe of them. In theory, anyway. Yeah, this will definitely stack wipe them. Cool. So we're going to walk down over here. They're gone, so we don't need to siege back any of this. I do want to hop over this direction and put in a library here to boost up our research and our civilization value even further. And down here in Panay, where are we at here? 5.99. So on this next month tick, we are going to get the ability to build another library here. In theory. Uh, it's stuck at 5.99. Maybe that's a rounding issue. Maybe next month tick. 6.01. Yeah, there it is. Okay, it just took a moment to pop in. Cool. So that looks fine. We're going to build this library as soon as we have the cache, and we have the cache right now. So we'll do that. Looks good. So these guys are going to be hanging out here. They're going to take attrition here, and we don't really want them to be taking attrition, of course. So we need to split them in half and move these guys out over here. Okay, each of them have a supply train. Cool. So this should be reasonably fine, just having them be split in half like this. It's the same leader in charge of both. Okay, noted. That's reasonably fine. So we're at 49.5 on our diplomacy at this moment, and we're going to get a claim on Moon, Ban, and Chenla. 22 April. When is this going to be done? 1 February. Okay, so that's going to be done a lot later. Do we want to cancel this? Yes. We lose the political influence. I was hoping we'd get it back. Okay, in that case, it's probably not worth the cancel, but this is a better claim. This is Chenla out over here. Yeah, that'll be fine. So that looks good. We'll get that claim shortly. And I want to check in on our research efficiency. Yes, Funan must belong to Candace. Absolutely. Enhanced militarization. Cool. So I want to check in on our research efficiency. 123.48. So we're just about capped on our efficiency. That's noted. That's really, really solid. So next up, we can check in on our missions here. So we need to own Chenla. We need to own Ban. We need to own Moon. And Moon needs to have three or more cities. That's going to take some time. No doubt about that. Okay. Sure. That's going to take a little bit. I want to declare this war basically right now. We're going to take Chenla. Less than 51% Senate support, so we gain some tyranny. But that's okay. We're going to hop in over this direction. And we're just going to grab these siege locations. We're keeping our army pretty together for right now. I'm noting that they have exactly one fort, and it's right there. Fascinating. Well, we do have a scorn family right now, and Burma needs a, go a governor, and we're going to put this guy in. He is not a member of a scorn family, but that's okay. Cool. Influence of the sea family, huh? It doesn't really matter. Uh, sure, we can invite somebody. We're of one family, one name. So, this is capped, and I want our units to group together up over here. We see their army, or part of it. It doesn't look like it's very much of the army, to be honest. The head of the Wen family died. And they're going up into Dambok for right now. We can head up there ourselves, and is this force capable of defeating this force? Likely. We just had a religious advance, and I wanted to grab... I think build road cost reduction because we want to head down to embracing philosophy. And this will be useful for us later, for sure. Oh, he's going here. That's a huge mistake, actually. Let's let him lock in. 
and we're going to go in and fight him right here. This is a huge misstep. He should not have gone here. This is going to go very badly for him. Uh, this guy can, re can cover the cost, definitely. Okay, so we win this battle even with only half of our force there. And we are going to start heading down to here. And then I want these guys to start heading down to here. Excellent. So that'll give us control of this entire area. This area will have to control here. But then there's this area. Okay. So there's only the one fort. And they don't appear to have any real way to fight us. But it's going to take us a while to get that fort eliminated. For the time being, it is time to put a cut in here. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And next episode, we're going to wrap up this war. And, oh, we have this taken over. That's, isn't that awkward? Okay, sure. In the next episode, we're going to take over Phnom. And that will be absolutely wonderful. We'll continue to work through the matter of Funan. You can leave your offerings to the engagement gods in the form of likes, comments, subscribes, and bell ringings. And a very special thank you to all of the channel members for making this video possible, including ALS Gamer, Shadow Wolf, Atala, Ali Lee, Dark Horse, Upper Cumberland Gamers, Nick Smarty, Dimitri H, Punching the Microphone, Sockerman 12 UK, Kentogan, and all the rest. And of course, you. Thank you for watching. If you'd like to support the channel, you can click the join button down below the video. And as always, I will see you all next time.